I'd like to introduce you to uh, Brendo and his son Ben. So Brendo is my brother-in-law and uh, he knows a lot about building. He's a, he's a bricklayer slash carpenter slash plaster. He can do everything and he does everything well, even builds furniture. So he was the main one that said, hey, look, this thing's got to come down. And he said he could rip it down in half a day with, with uh, Benny. So I was like, well, that'd be great. And so, yeah, they got to work. Starting off, this was, you know, just after they ripped down all the internal walls. You can see the carpet down there that we've, we've chucked down there to, you know, sort of protect the floor a bit, getting rid of the illegal hot water system. Then we started ripping up the floorboards and check out the, you know, the insulation. This is the insulation job that was apparently to code. It just looked like it was wet, you know. My heart jumped a little bit because it had a steel, you know, steel sort of beam in there. But uh, as we ripped off more and more of the uh, flooring and stuff, it was pretty clear that, yeah, it, you know, it wasn't doing anything. But those steel beams weren't even touching the walls. They weren't even screwed down or anything like that. They just, you know, blowing in the wind. So very dangerous anyway. So once we got all the flooring up, um, we just started kicking down the ceiling. Um, yeah, the power has been turned off. Uh, Pete, um, my mate electrician from uh, Pete Matthews he, he came down and disconnected all the power for us so it was no danger when lights were you know pulling by strings and everything because it was all disconnected but we just kicked it all down and the dust over the next 20 years that's why it's important to you know wear your dust mask and stuff like that because you don't know what it is um, yeah just ripping down all the beams not good for anything else so we just yeah cut up those yeah, use it for my pizza oven or something so yeah Brendo, Brendo made short work of it and uh, sort of ran out of time on that day. And then um, a couple of days later, I uh, had to get the rest of the internal sort of um, walls taken down. And uh, so that's when I got um, yeah, some of the guys from um, Airtasker to, to give us a hand. And also my apprentice, uh, Talon, um, came in on the day too. And he, he's been helping just, just knocking down walls and ma mainly picking it all up and uh, getting it all outside to our massive skip bins I think we filled up maybe three of them and we, we packed them really well too we just you know that's the first one that we sort of packed up so flat packed everything and then that got taken and another another one got got delivered